Let's face it, nootropics have become a highly popular subject in the health community lately. And it's not too surprising, I guess, considering the rise in dementia conditions we have in the US. We also had that popular movie Limitless. And we are all in a very fast paced rat race looking to get ahead. So we will seek out just about any type of advantage we can find. But the nootropic realm is filled with numerous different drugs and supplements. And frankly, there just hasn't been enough time to compile great evidence on most of them yet. Many of them are unproven or don't present long enough track records to show that they are safe. But don't get discouraged. I'm going to give you one surefire nootropic supplement that has the backing it needs. Phosphatidylserine. Roughly 50% of the phosphatidylserine in your body can be found in brain tissue. This phospholipid plays roles in cell membranes. It can affect important signaling pathways for cell survival and communication. Because of its importance in brain function, phosphatidylserine has become a well-researched nootropic over the years. Research has shown time after time that phosphatidylserine improves cognitive function, working memory, processing accuracy, processing speed, and general memory attention. Not to mention that phosphatidylserine is also known for reducing fatigue, stress, ADHD symptoms, and cognitive decline. There have been many great results for reducing symptoms of various dementias as well. There are many reasons why phosphatidylserine is able to do this. For one, it enhances brain glucose metabolism, thereby increasing the fuel for brain activity. It also increases acetylcholine production that is necessary for memory and learning. Add in the fact that it stimulates the release of dopamine while reducing cortisol levels, and now you're in a better state to think and learn. Now, to get the most effective dosage of phosphatidylserine, you have to supplement it. The dosage used in many studies ranges from 300 to 800 milligrams per day. I would stick to the lower end of this range as it becomes quite expensive otherwise. The 800 milligrams seems to be used for people doing weight training and looking for better recovery and progression. And finally, this should be taken on empty stomach for the best absorption. Most of the supplements are going to come from soybean or soy lecithin. Many people don't like to consume soy or can't because of allergies. I avoid soy as much as I possibly can, but in this case, it is fine. What harm the small amount of soy could do to you is completely nullified by what the phosphatidylserine is doing for you. Now, if you're allergic to soy, or just want the alternative, there is a sunflower-based phosphatidylserine too. It's just a bit more expensive and a little bit harder to find. So that's the rundown on phosphatidylserine. It is one of my favorite supplements and I hope it can be of service to you and to your health. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. You can also follow me on Facebook. Stay well everyone.